Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek, and in this video, I'm finally going to be showing you guys how to unjailbreak your device on iOS 10 without updating your device. That means if you are on iOS 10.2 or iOS 10.1.1 jailbroken, and you want to get rid of your jailbreak, perhaps you want to sell your device at a higher price, or if you've been having a lot of problems and just want to start over, at any rate, this is how to remove your jailbreak on iOS 10. Now, if you don't care about staying on the same software update, you can just restore in iTunes. It'll update you, remove the jailbreak. Just be sure you make a backup to keep all your stuff and just restore it back. It's that simple. But for those of you who want to stay on the same software update, iOS 10.2 or 10.1.1, so what you want to do, first thing is backup. Backup your device to iTunes or iCloud. Just go do it. Do it now. And once your device is backed up, we can go ahead and start this process. So what you're going to need to do is go into Cydia. And by the way, if you have problems with getting Cydia to work correctly, I did make a video on how to troubleshoot. I'll have that in your cards as well as in the description. Now, the first thing you want to do is to remove all your jailbroken tweaks. So you can do that by removing Cydia Substrate. But do beware things like iFile, Filesa that don't depend on Substrate, you'll have to remove manually. But be careful not to mess up your device by deleting critical stuff. Only tweaks that you installed. Anyways, once that is done, in the Sources tab, go ahead and hit Edit add and in here add the two sources on the screen or in the description and once you've added those sources we can go into the search bar and we're going to search for stashing for ios 9.2 through 10.2 so you want to install this package and it's going to install some stuff here just hit confirm and then go ahead and just hit reboot device all right so once your device boots up you want to go back into yangu or if you're on an iphone 7 go back into mock portal and re-enable the jailbreak all right, and once your device is back up and running, go back into Cydia. We're going to install another package. The next package we're going to install is called OS Restore X, not the other one. OS Restore X is going to remove basically the jailbreak part of your device, allowing you to have just a normal file system back. So just hit install and confirm. See, it gives you some hang time in here. If you would like to quit, exit Cydia now, because this is basically like Cydia Eraser. If you guys have heard of that before, it would just run your device and delete everything, including Cydia. This is basically that. As you guys can see, starting Erase right here, removed Yangu, removing VAR Mobile and its contents, basically removing all the jailbreak files in your file system. So your file system is gonna be in a little bit of a disarray. Apps are going to be there, but you can't open them. And Cydia just gave us a bunch of errors and completely crashed. If I try to go back in Cydia, it's not going to work. So at this point, you might be thinking, what in the world do I do? Is my phone like broken now? Well, no, there are some apps that will still work, but I mean, it's completely just all in a mess. I mean, come on. Like, why do you need to sign into iTunes on Instagram? So at this point, just go into settings, general, scroll down to reset. Erase all content and settings, erase, enter your password if it asks you, erase device. So your device now should be getting this Apple logo with a little restore bar, and then a little baby restore bar, and I'll be right back after this is done. Alright you guys, so my device just restarted into the setup screen. This should look very familiar. And do beware you are going to need your Apple ID password to get rid of activation lock if you did not turn off Find My iPhone. And of course, at this point, you can go ahead and load up your backups, either from iTunes or iCloud. All right, you guys, all my applications are just slowly downloading back. So I'm just going to go into settings, general, about, and you can see I am still on iOS 10.2. This device is ready to be jailbroken again or sold or updated, whatever you want to do with it. Now, if you guys run into any trouble, be sure to hit me up at iAppleGeek on Twitter or just leave a comment below. That'd be great. If you guys want to re-jailbreak your device, I have a video up here how to do that. And of course, don't forget to hit this subscribe button right down here. Like the video if it helped. And if you do subscribe, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.